In this video, we'll be going over another simple machine, the incline plane. We will be covering how to calculate the force needed to push a crate up an incline, assuming no friction, and how distance changes relative to raising an object straight up. If you were to lift a box straight up that weighs 49 newtons, it would require a force greater than 49 newtons to raise the box. Now if you were to put the box on a frictionless incline plane with an angle of 30 degrees, it would require only half of the force required to lift the box straight up, or 24.5 newtons in this case. We can calculate the force needed to push up the crate by taking the sine value of the angle times the force due to gravity, in this case 49 newtons. We are left with a force of 24.5 newtons. The way I always remember how to calculate the force on an incline is to draw a triangle with hypotenuse or longest side representing the acceleration due to gravity times the mass going straight down. The angle of the incline then goes in the top corner. We can then solve the right triangle for the force needed to move the object by completing Sokotoa. Another way to find the force needed to push an object up an incline is to take the height of the ramp, in this case 10 meters, and divide by the length traveled on the ramp, or hypotenuse of the triangle, in this case 20 meters. This gives us an answer that half the force of lifting the box straight up is needed to push the box up the incline. As stated in previous videos, what happens when you reduce the amount of force needed to move an object? That's right, the displacement increases. In this example, lifting the box straight up, we only have to move the box 10 meters. In the incline plane example, we have to push the box 20 meters to gain the same height of 10 meters. When pushing the box up the incline, we have traded off reducing the force by half at the cost of increasing the distance by 2. Notice that if we take the formula for work, force times distance, we get the same amount of work. 20 meters times 24.5 newtons equals 490 joules, and 10 times 49 newtons equals 490 joules. And that concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. Thank you for watching.